Okay, here we go. Let's go for round two. Strixhaven packs. Set boosters. Booster pick. Booster pick. Can you do it in your booster pick? Childproof. Haha. -ha. Clearly, not a child. Isn't that interesting? I wonder why. Mm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mmm, juicy. Thank you, Mr. Raymond Swanland. You made a very cool Elder Dragon. Uh, broccoli. Fractal Sunday. When one or more cards leaves your graveyard, scry one. Yeah, there's a good one. Early game, too. Good stuff, good stuff. Excel a card from your graveyard. Target creature gains flying until end of turn. Hey, give that to that big, like, 11, 12 thing, or whatever it is. Mage Hunter. Ooh, this is dirty. Whenever an opponent casts or copies an instant or sorcery spell, how often does that happen? They lose a life. And it's a 3 4 solid 4 drop. Good card. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Access tunnel. Target creature with power three or less can't be blocked this turn. Buff it after it gets through. Make it big and nasty after it can't be blocked. Right before you do the damage. You may pay four and discard a card. If you do draw a card, whenever you discard one or more non-land cards, you may exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. Hmm. Okay, so there's two different effects here. So the first one, whenever he attacks, you could pay one, discard, draw. The other one, the other one would work with cycling. This is a two drop. Whenever you discard one or more non-land cards, you may exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. So you can cycle it, then cast it, and then it ends up in your graveyard, if it's an instant or sorcery, or it ends up on the field, and when it dies, it ends up in your graveyard. All of which... Discard one or more cards, you may exile one of them. Yeah, see? Okay, so you're... That's fascinating. You may discard one or more. So if you're triggering off of discard, you discard as many as you want. And one of them you're going to get to cast. The rest of them are just in your graveyard. Only the one that you're going to cast this turn is actually put into exile. This could be been, this could be fun. This could be really fun. I like that. We got here. Oh, hey, double rare. Double rare. Whenever your opponent activates an ability that isn't a mana ability, this guy deals one damage to that player. He's also pumpable for cheap. No flying. He's a little guy. But you know, hey. Defiant strike. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until it turn. Draw a card. Hm. And a shiny biomathematician. Whenever he enters the battlefield, create a zero, zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put a one, one counter on the fractal you can, on a A fractal you control. So you can either put it on the fractal that you created, or that just dies, and you put it on a different one. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. And what do we here? Oh, hey, 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 look. It's an older card. Spined Thopter. Huh. You pay two life instead of paying blue. And it's a 2-1. For three. 
that does not make any sense to play. Except for the fact it's an artifact creature. An Ephelter. So, those I guess, maybe. Play them for two colorless and two life. Flying 2-1. I don't know. Anyways, cool. On to the next pack. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Y'all. Yeah, I know. There we go. There we go. What's what's all this? There's a ton of writing on this page. What have we here? We have how to win. Oh, hey! <laughs> Secrets of magic. The magic mini game. Two players, two packs, ten minutes. Oh, hey! It's like a shortened draft game of magic. Interesting. Interesting. Here. I'm not going to read all that. But if you want to pause the video here, read all that. I'll give you the other side. There you go. Another way to play Magic. Not a useless card. Onward. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my. Such lovely artwork. Man, I gotta say, I did a, ooh, look at there. Look at there. Shiny. We'll go ahead and set that aside. Hey, Shiny Mountain. I love shiny stuff. That's why I make jewelry, too. I don't just play magic. I don't just open booster packs. I used to be a wildland firefighter, and now I collect gems and pick mushrooms in the woods. Not those kinds of mushrooms, the kind you make food out of. Culinary delights, morels, chanterelles, matsutake, that sort of thing. If you don't know about those, you should look them up. They're quite tasty, actually. This the stuff. This stuff. That's kind of nice. Here's another one of Big Prismari cards. Seven drop. But you can discard it. Pay two and discard it. Make a treasure. But the good thing is, is create two, four, four, blue and red elemental creature tokens. Copy that for one red, or a red and a blue, or two blue. All kinds of things you can do. And then you'd have four of them on the field. Exile a creature artifact, it's controller, which could be you. You know them pests? So, how about for one blue and one, let's exile a pest and turn it into a four, four, blue and red elemental creature token. Or... That big nasty thing that just keeps getting bigger, or that artifact that won't go away, boom. Now it's a 4-4. You can deal with it better if it's a 4-4 than, you know. Hey, look. Whenever you cast your next innocent or sorcery, this turn, copy that spell and choose new targets. Am I just saying? Four of them. Love this card. There's so many things you can do, so many different things you can copy just gets kind of crazy. One of the best draw cards in Strixhaven. One of the best draw cards in a while. Pop quiz costs three. It's an instant, so do it at the end of your opponent's turn, if nothing else. Draw a card and learn. So you're replacing the card in your hand by the random one you draw, plus you're getting one card out of your sideboard that is specific to your situation any given time that you can cast a three draw. So two for one, for three, one of them is, is specific to your needs and one's a random off the top. That is the best draw card I've seen in a very long time. A three drop with no downfall. That's better than scry draw. That's better than scry two draw two or any of those others for, for that matter. Gain two life, target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life that you've gained this turn. And it's an instant, so, hmm, kinda buffy. Here we go, what do we got? Multiple choice, this is a good one too. So, you pay one blue and X. If you pay four or more, you get to do everything. But if you pay one, you get to scry one, draw one. So you got an opt, pay two, you get to choose target player, they return a creature they control to its owner's hand, so 
you know, they're going to get to pick the creature, or you get to pick it if it's your creature. If X is 3, create a 4-4 four, four, blue and red. And if you paid 4, you get to do them all, which is really the way to do it. So, 1 blue and 4, and you get to do all 3. Multiple choice, i oh, D, all of the above. Memory laughs, counter target creature spell. The spell is countered this way. Put it on top of the owner's library instead of into the owner's grave graveyard. If that spell is countered this way, put it on top of its owner's library instead of into that player's graveyard. That seems... You know what you do? Here's what you do with this card. So you're going to counter your own spell after you copy it. And then it goes back on top of your library. So, for example, how about copy any one of those cards that gives you an extra turn? Then copy and then counter it because you know it's going to if it resolves it's going to exile all of those uh, extra turn instants and sorceries they exile once they resolve. So what you need to do is you need to copy it Put it back on top of your library so you can cast it again next turn. That's three for one. Boom. There's a way to use that. Onward. What else did we get? We got a shiny reduce to memory. Exile target non-land permanent. Its controller creates a 3-2 red elemental creature token. That's that. Hey, that's that. Yeah, two white and one. Good stuff. Good lesson. That's a good lesson to learn. All right, on to the next booster pack. Mm, 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 mm. Open says and turn it on. Because, you know. <laughs> and then it's easy. That's so funny. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that looks painful. They're like, you shall not cast anything. What is this card, anyways? Let's look. This is Rise to Extus. Good job. The art series. I love these. This this is a really neat new thing they're doing. And uh, earlier I pulled one that actually had the foil signature on it. So there's two grades of these that you can get. And you get one in each booster pack. <sighs> oh, hey, look at that. That's a nice campus. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Seen this guy before, he's pretty common. Nice pull four. This uh here. Rise to Extus. Hey! 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 Really? In the same pack. Super cool. Super cool. Super cool. With a learn. So <laughs> It's expensive as all get out, but guess what? Uh -huh, replacing itself. Love that. Where are we at here? Okay. A little bit of buff or removal. You can go either way with that one. Each player loses two life, and you draw two cards. Little Eye Witch. Little one with Lair with Learn when he dies. Ooh, a little hiccup there. Sorry, guys. Another learn card. Mm. That looks kind of cool. Mm. Whenever you cast, a, cast or copy an instant sorcery spell, target creature you control with base power, two... Target creature you control has base power 2 until end of turn. So, like, she's an 0-2, so she becomes a 2-2 two -two with flying. 2-2. Two -two. And it's a wizard, so that's kind of nice. It's a human. Human. Hey, what we got here? Vernable War Singer? Mm, okay, 3-3. Three, three. Vigilance, Trample, when he deals combat damage to a player... He's already got trample, so that's always a good plus when you're trying to do those kinds of things. 
you may return target creature card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the amount of damage. Oh. So it's a 3-3 already, so you're bringing a 3-drop back if it goes through. I mean, granted, they can block some of it, but you got trample. Give this guy a buff. Give this guy double strike, and you're bringing a lot back. That's... That's way cool, actually, and it's a spirit, and there is tribal spirits in this set, so, and he's a cleric, which they're from Kaldheim. Kaldheim? Yeah. Uh, there's actually a cleric tribal, so, interesting. Granted, the clerics are black and white, so you would be going black, white, red if you went tribal, tribal clerics. But, I mean... The clerics do bring themselves back from the graveyard and others back from the graveyard. So, really, I mean, that might be kind of fun. That'd be an interesting deck, maybe. I don't know if it'd be competitive or not. Oh, looky, looky, dark ritual. Man. Good job. Good job. They distrust my methods, but when they want results... Whom do they think they seek? Whom do you think they seek? Yeah. <laughs> Three for one. Sure. Oh, what? All right. So this is way cool. We got a mythic foil. Blot out the sky. Create X tapped. Was that two one? white black inkling creature tokens with flying where x okay i gotta look at this out from under the camera if x is six or more destroy all non-creature non-land permanents wow wow one black one white and x make a bunch of little 2-1 flyers, and if you pay 6, so if you go in 8, you're destroying the board. All, destroy all non-creature, non-land permanents. Boom. That's huge. And it's foil. Mini Magic Game. Hey, here's another Mini Magic Game. let you read that. I'm not going to read all the text, but there you go. It's another way to play magic. Good job, wizards. Here's a layout. Uh, no, that just tells you what the card is. Oh, no, that's dominoes. Weird. It's an actual dominoes. How to play dominoes with magic. Cool. Good job, magic.